Hello everyone and welcome to unboxing and review. Today I have a brand new TV box called the WeShape V7. In today's video I will do the unboxing, general look for the design. After this I will connect the device to my TV and start to record the screen to test the device. So please stay tuned and consider to subscribe to my channel. In the box you will find the TV box itself, which is a small device, lightweight and nice design. Also there is a thanks card, power adapter, HDMI cable, simple user manual and remote control. Let's go to the specifications. The processor is Amlogic S912, CPU is ARM Cortex A53 Octa Core, the GPU is Mali T820, it has 3GB of RAM DDR3, 32GB of internal storage. The device is running Android 7.1.1 and costs around $70. I will leave the links in the description below if you need to check them out. The device is made totally of plastic. As I said before, it's small and very lightweight. On the top, you will find the device logo and the power button. In the front here, we have a nice looking LED light. Nothing from the right. From the left, there is micro SD card slot and USB board. From the back, we have the optical board. AV, HDMI, Ethernet, USB and power board. I am recording the screen right now and this is the boot screen. It looks different from the other TV boxes. And this is the home screen of the device. On the top left we have the logo, time on the right. Below we have Kodi, browser, apps this is all the application can be installed with the device like the firefox kudi netflix play store twitter youtube and other applications we have also the music setting video play store and memory cleaner down here we have the application bar you can adjust it by show or hide whatever you like the navigation bar in the bottom is always a great option you can hide it from here adjust the volume take a print screen you can also open the application in the background and you have the home and the back button going to the setting it's similar to the most TV boxes you have the network sound applications screensaver display and the maximum resolution to my TV is 1080 if you're using a higher TV it will show up here you can adjust your screen position from here by zooming in or out in the storage out of the 32 gigabyte you have only 25 gigabyte free and you can use external usb drive or sd card as internal storage about has all the information about the device you can look for the update and backup your files from here you have the device name and model as i mentioned before the operation system is android 7.1.1 in addition to date and time language includes all the languages comes with the android we have also the keyboard power bluetooth accessories accounts and locations moving to the google play store this is the starting screen it will show up every time you open the store you will be able to download any application or games that you need this is the youtube on the device and the maximum resolution is 1080 why don't we try the top three places on yelp and see if they're actually as good as they say they are because yelp is a very powerful tool that a lot of people use to find restaurants here's the thing the netflix game oh brain installed is working today. fine you finish next weekend but then i ruined the flow michael i'm serious mom the campaign took two weeks to plan the kodi game brain installed with the device is also working fine the version is 17.3 i will play different videos qualities to test the device performance starting with the hd 720b and think of a memory that makes you happy now think of a memory you associate with your youth now consider the most memory full hd 1080 do you have plans tonight do you want to have fun with me later Courtney Holmes, I am mildly surprised, but offer accepted. Quad HD 1440.
and the 4K 2160. It's working, but I feel it's not going smoothly. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. One of the greatest of all. Thousand years we've kept it hidden to protect Earth from what was destined to arrive. Optimus Prime, you destroyed your home. Do you seek redemption? Now we reach to the gaming test. I will play the Real Racing 3. It seems working fine without any issue. EMMC test shows the very low score in the memory reading and writing and the RAM score is okay. Moving to the benchmark, the result came from Antutu benchmark and Geek benchmark is okay but not the best. We had better results for less priced devices. As you can see in my list here, the device came number 6. This device cost around $70 while the Sunville T95K as example has a better score for the less price. Or the A95X has a better score also for almost the same price. The device have root access from the factory. Anyway, we have now the final test. I will reset the device to check if it's going to work again or not. I will press factory data reset and choose reset media box. Erase everything. I will speed up the video now to get over this process. At the end, the device is working fine. If you have any question, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching and see you next video.